Dennis Wright. As always. <laughs> the classic schmaltimate banter. What's up? All right. Other winners, semis. We've oh, got. Shit. We got Musket and uh, Nangs. Big. The classic. We got Peach Samus. Obviously. Oh uh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> hey, every every single time, uh, Musket and Nangs plug into the setup. I'm like, here we go. Fox versus Time Samus. for a good set. <laughs> Time for a good set. Fox versus Samus, baby. Let's do it. And then it's this <laughs> instead. And which is like, fair enough. Like, you know, Musket probably his play. Musket's probably played Peach a lot longer than he has Fox. So in this matchup, which is very heavily in Peach's favor, it makes sense. Yep. Um, Musket has uh, always historically won this one. Yeah, I, I can't think of many, if any, um, times where Nengs did it yeah, to Musket's Peach. I, I uh, definitely don't recall any. I wonder what the final outcome was from the Grim Tuesday no. tournament entry. Oh, uh, he got it. He got refunded. Something? I'm not sure. I'm not sure what he got refunded, but we'll see. Well, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Straight this up. Ban Grim Tuesday for tournaments. Literally, ban him. That's so dumb. Imagine being so salty that you ask for your money back. <laughs> I mean, I always want to keep up a facade of being, you know, program Tuesday. Sometimes some dumb shit happens. And it just, uh, the cracks. Alright. Facade. So yeah, this is another best of five. We're in winner semis. Um, so, best of five for like top six, I think. That's how it works. Um, because yeah. yeah, the winner semis drop down into losers quarters, you're not gonna Go play a best of three. I could see Nero if you do well on Nangs. Yeah, so I think he's been getting a lot better. Actually. I feel like he's most improved from. Uh, I feel like he's the kind of player that when a major happens, he plays a lot of players and he like. Yeah. A lot. Whereas yeah, Musket, yeah. he's kind of still doing his Musket things. I mean, it's not like he's playing Peach against most of the like the interstaters. That's true as well. Yeah, his Peach is also on like a downward trend. Yeah. For yeah. Sure. Like, it's just for this matchup at this point, pretty much. Uh, I don't think I, like, I recall, like, a single time in recent memory, so, like, sometime this year. Did he play against Kalen at the Big Cheese? Um, I think he did. For Fox, did I? Prob I mean, yeah, yeah I think he did. it's quite likely. I mean, against Kalen, who has, like, a world of Fox oh, training, um, it makes sense. And, like, easier to get uh, people on top of the Peach than it is Fox, I think. Yep. For a lot of reasons. Oh, nice. I like that. But it's not gonna kill yet. You get to pull out our phones as Nanks makes it back to stage. Oh my god. I actually hate playing Samus. It's, it just it's takes so long to get back. It's yeah. Just like, oh, I got a hit. Oh well, he's at 190 instead of 180. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and and it didn't taking at the all. kill at 200, finally, we're doing it. Um, yeah, like the big thing for me I get, with Samus is like. You have to know like the moment to actually do your thing because usually like every other matchup you kind of like go through the motions in a very like logical like this comes after this this comes after that. Uh, whereas Samus, you hit him off stage and you're just like, now what do I do? Yeah. You're just there waiting for it to get closer so you can grab the ledge or something. Um, and then it's like, well, if I mess up this one moment, then I got to do it all again. Or you die. Yeah, well, you die, right? <laughs> you mess up. You mess up trying to edge guard her, and then you just cop a fat charge shot. Well, I would done. like to see the numbers on how many stops top Samus has take from like cheesing people out of being edge guarded. I think it would probably be quite like, a lot. Like, Sa like, it, if we're gonna make a criteria, we'll make it like Samus recovering stocks taken. Yeah. There would be a that would be a good Tafo stat to know, like, like, like duck and flop and. Uh, Honestly, it has so little to do with what people perceive to be like the key skills of melee. But what, like, it just like recovering and cheesing people on your way. Oh, back. good power shot. But like, nice. It's it's so important, you know. Yeah. Well, like, 
I feel like I noticed that uh, at the further and further you go up, like the skill tree is like how quickly a stock turns at the ledge. And like the, the good players, they'll get like one hit while you're coming back to stage. Oh, sorry, while you're trying to get edge guard going. And then suddenly your stock's gone. Ooh, yeah. unfortunate for Nangsa. One thing I've realized is melee, more than being about the neutral game and like big brains, is about the little situations and the little cheesy things you can do. Yeah, I mean... It's about crash cancel, it's about SDI. <laughs> it's <laughs> there, about, there's one. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think melee is one of those games where like in tournament, it's not so much about the conversation you have, but more about like how many times you can go, um, actually. <laughs> yeah, I like it. So, <laughs> like uh, SDI, you get like crouch cancel, you get like reversing situations on an edge guard. Objection. Yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> it's like that in tournament. But like yeah. friendlies are like where the actual conversations happen. I feel like people are a lot less inclined, well not inclined, but like, um, the cheese kind of comes out a lot less in friendlies because people are trying to go for more like yeah. uh, stuff that they practice, I guess. Like, I want get, to get better at like this matchup, so I'm going to like think about the neutral game a bit more. Yep. Whereas in tournament, just, just take them. It's so just hard to get them. to the point where the neutral game even matters. <laughs> yeah, right? I think the neutral game matters when I play Ruben. That's about it. <laughs> but that's only because I have to oh, win it so many sword. times. He picks it up! This is going to be the big comeback. From Muscat. Oh! oh I'm not sure if he was actually dead there. Oh, he throws a big air dodge from Nang. This is dodge. actually going so well for Ruben right now. Look, he's just off stage. He's fine. He's fine. Yeah, Musket can't Musket kill him. is like very oh, accustomed to playing in the lead in this matchup, and since he kind of SD'd away that stock when he was in the lead, yeah. he's not quite having the kind of control that he. Uh, Expects against Samus. Yeah, understandable. To be quite honest. Dude. Oh, he shot that. <laughs> boom. Oh, that's it. Absolutely boom. First game to Nangs. I like this. And this is going to be interesting if Musket's going to pull out the Fox and get a uh, body for another game. Um, or if he's going to ride out the Peach. Okay, FD. I God, I was going to your money back in a 13 entry tournament. I'm so tilted. <laughs> I'm like unbelievably tilted. It's just the most dog thing I ever. I don't even. Did like, he play his losers? I don't know. Well, he played his winners, that's for sure. Yeah. I, was, I think after you play that first game. Like, I think after you enter. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I mean, if, I'm like, sure. If you can't make it to the tournament, then, like, by all means, get a refund. But, he also like, up and left, like, immediately afterwards. Yeah, like. Pretty shitty, to be honest. Like we don't need, we don't owe Mason anything. He like comes to the scene once every like nine months, has a little tantrum, and then asks for his money back. Like what? Why do we give him his money? I don't get it. Any uh, Mason, any pro Mason people in the chat want to like argue with me on this? Yeah. Because I think it's <laughs> stupid. Hit up the Twitter after this. So we're like, let's argue. <laughs> Should people ever be given their money back? Is it going to be 100% no? Yeah, after you, after you lose in winners, should you be able to ask for a reason? Oh, big bomb bomb. Oh, big waste. <laughs> no, there's no there's no point that you could possibly argue other than okay. Mason is right. special. The, the, only, the only ground that I think Mason has to stand on is that Afterwards, he's like, I really didn't want to play on stream. I'm like, well, you could have said that, right? But yeah, I'm he like, was just standing there chilling. Yeah, yeah. But we were like, oh, don't, don't get him. We did go to like Will and be like, hey, don't play your game uh, just yet. We want to put it on stream. I think that's what Will went over and did. Um, and then they played on stream, and then uh, it was just a quick two over Caleb. So like, I can understand if you want to approach it from any angle. The only angle is. Uh, you know, like not consenting to <laughs> to I mean, conditions of a match. I mean, it's not like the conditions of the tournament are that if you get us to play on stream, you do it. <laughs> but you I can't force that on people. I feel like that's such a TPP move. And Musket, I mean, Mason has like no TPP remaining. <laughs> He's used to that. He's actually out of it. He's like mid-level player whining. Well, enough about that. Oh, Nang's actually living it's real hard against Musket on a theory. Right? Oh, power shields. You see that, uh, that uh, optimal Falco power shielding 
um, Samus dash attack punish yeah. with the invisible ceiling glitch. Yes, that was dope. It also works on Moth, apparently. Oh, sick. That's dope. Do you like, do you wave dash out of the power shield or do you just go for the shine? I don't know. Really. Okay, I gotta, I gotta land that anyway. I'll go, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll land highly one. situational play. Yeah, yeah, but like if I if I'm in the moment, I hit that power shield. I hit and then I hit one shine, and I see it's ICG. I'm like, oh sweet, <laughs> time to match. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, like not? I think there's like enough of a reaction that you can make it work. But like, God, you have to be in the lab for like six months on that at least. I think like shine up smash is the go. Yeah, yeah but I'm Falco. <laughs> yeah, when they get up smash back down. To the ground and you can like tech oh like, wait, yeah yeah true sure. that's yeah okay i'm thinking more about the frame advantage of how slow up smash is but anyway this is actually going to an even game musket starting to pull ahead he's got to finish off his edge guard rough he's not letting him go there a lot of this game's kind of happened on like, you know, the three quarters of the stage near the ledge. Just because, you know, Samus is gonna be recovering most of the times. So Musk is gonna be standing near it. Yeah. The fun zone. The fun zone. <laughs> That's the cheese factory. Dude. Exactly. Like it. <laughs> That's just gonna happen so much. Musket's gonna get that dash attack and he's like, cool, got my th got my 17. Yeah. <laughs> Time to move on. Oh, the spot dodge not working out for her either. This is looking pretty good for Nangs right now if he can clean it up with his charge shot. Oh, I love the roll though. I'm just thinking about this matchup. I feel like Ruben is doing a lot of moves that are like, the margins aren't that high. I don't know if that's yeah. a Samus thing. I think it's a Samus versus Peach thing. Yeah. It seems like Peach is, yeah, it just seems like Peach's like moves are just gonna be, like beat out a lot of Samus's like general options that she's gonna use. Also, really weak shield. Yep. Oh, like. Okay, I, I expected an air dodge for some reason, but Musket's like low percent, so it's not gonna happen. I really like that wiggle out there to grab the ledge. Okay, wiggle out to get wiggle out like B move to get the to get the no impact land. That shit's good. Yep. Well, not the no impact, but. You don't have to wiggle out to do a move, but you do have to wiggle out to get a tether. Okay, right. You can mash any move out of hits then. Ooh, that's it. That is that. Musket bringing it to 1-1 one, one after... After a hard-fought 5 minutes and 10 seconds. Yeah, We huge. move on to game 3 in its best of 5. Um, yep, so ultimate has already happened, Willie May in chat. Uh, in grand finals, it was Russ versus Nikes, and Russ took it from losers. I think it was 3 0 3 0, or maybe. From losers? Yep. Who beat him? Uh, I don't know who beat Russ, actually. I don't know where he lost, but Nikes was in grand winners. Right. Good, always good to see Nikes perform well here and there. He's always good in the early season. Yeah, I see that a lot. I think he's got a lot of that, like. He's probably just played his character, I think. Yeah, he's yeah, right. I think, he, I think he's just played Yoshi for long enough that it's it well, it works out no matter what. But yeah. anyway, like he's won in winners finals against Ross. Okay, cool. Oh no, the dash grab! Oh, almost curtains for for Nangs there, and we're in, we're on Yoshi's as well. So I guess Nangs is gonna be hoping for that charge shot kill in a bit earlier, but. I know, one D smash from uh, Peach at this percent. Oh, fair. Don't He's even need to make me out of the corner here. I don't know what Samus does there, to be honest. Maybe like run in a dash attack or something. Yeah. Missile. Even his up tilt's getting beaten. It's so unfortunate. <laughs> he hit the dare and then charged up. He could have gone anything other than an up air. So. He could have gone like a. I don't know if you can do an aero interrupt to the top plat as Samus, but it would have been cool. Maybe he could have got a back air if he was like super. Yeah. Yeah, this, this one is Sammy's musket starting to pull ahead. This Yoshi's not working out so well. No. Oh no! That's not fast enough. Weird just, like, down tilt. Just wave dash forward, down smash Ruben. You got it. Just punch him. Hit him with the legs. Just kick him. Huge hands. More legs. Oh! For some reason, I always see Nangs hit some soft nair into charge shot at high percent. What's with that? Is that real? real? Uh, that wasn't. That real one though. wasn't real. 
But I watched the, I've been watching the Big Cheese VODs all the time. Right. And he hits him with the soft nair into charge shot edge guard sometimes once they go to stage. It was against Dalox, actually. Yeah, that was it. That was pretty legit. So you've been making your way through the VODs for uh, personal enjoyment or for splitting them up? Uh, personal enjoyment for now. <laughs> good shit, dude. I like that. <laughs> I just oh okay. He got the tether and then landed on. Uh, cloud. I wonder if he gets his tether back. Yeah, he does. Whoa, okay. Shy guy almost saved him. But counter not pick, quite. not quite working for him. It just it, like all the survivability you had on Greenland that that he won is just it's not it's not there for this one. Should go to stadium. Yeah, actually. Because that's where your charge shots are going to kill off the side, really. And you get your nice missile yeah. camping. And you don't get stuck in the corner so much. Plus a nice low ceiling for Peach to die to. I like that. Down smash will probably do it. I don't know what it is about Yoshi's, but somehow you just get stuck in the corner real bad. Or at least Nang's is. See, I don't th the thing is, is like I don't think Yoshi's is actually that bad for Sam's because of her upbeat at the top plat. Um, and like the down air just covers so much. You can cover a lot on the platform, but you're not really going to put Peach on the platforms in a tech situation, really. So like, stages might be alright for Samus, but I don't think it's that great against Peach. It looks yeah, like in some matchups. It looks like Peach is just dominating the space. Ooh, two stock. Much quicker than the last game, and it's going to go into this game four up a game. Shoutouts to Donut for hanging out with Drunk Musket. Drunk Musket is a treat to be around. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, we're going back to Yoshi's. I wanted to be known that I was the first person that noticed Musket was drunk. <laughs> Everyone else was like, really? And I was like, yeah, Musket, how many drinks have you had? And he was like, not that many. <laughs> Classic Musket. Oh, he's dominating this song. Drunk Musket's in the cage. It's all, it's all monster musky right now. Yeah, because Drunk Musket has a real spring in his step, you know? You know what it was? He, he, was, probably, he was probably monster musket and then he hopped on the drinks. And so he was unstoppable from that point on. Exactly. He actually was unstoppable as Big Cheese. <laughs> Remember when he just straight up didn't know what city we were in? Were you there? I wasn't there for that, but you did tell me about it. He's incredible. <laughs> he like committed to it as well. He doubled down. It's like, oh, so when's your play? <laughs> He doubled down on us being in Melbourne. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the Austral's a pretty Melbourne place. I mean... Like, a aesthetically. <laughs> That's godlike donut. That's commitment. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <Take your own. laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh no! Nang's falling apart. You hate to see that kind of thing happen. Oh. Okay. Still a bit of life left in Nangs. He needs to not eat the trade, so that was a good one for him, though. Nangs has such a worse time when I'm here because he gets musket. Oh no! The thing oh, is, he's like no. trapped in the cycle because he either he he gets seated fourth and he plays me and he does alright. I don't. Okay, real shit. Last evac, I don't know why I was seated above Nangs. That was not a good decision. Whoever made that one. Man. Oh well. Oh, big shield grab with the Samus tether. I like the shield pressure going on as well. Ah! Spot dodge. So clutch for Musket, but he's not going to get too much in the end. Didn't really matter that much. Didn't you beat Nang's last tournament? No. I thought he did. Nuh-uh. Who'd you beat? Devin. Yeah, yeah, you beat Devin. yeah, yeah, I beat, beat Devin. Uh, Nang's beaten me at Big Cheese and the last evac. Classic Nang's, dude. Oh. Always winning. Big, big stitch, too. Absolutely. What a stitch up. Where are the cameras, I'm bro? I'm in stitches. <laughs> Where are the cameras, bro? Is this a stitch up? <laughs> oh. All right, that's that's that. And then we have <laughs> we have. Uh, uh, there are cameras. 